There's something new happening up at the Oregon Zoo, but chances are you would never even know about it. You wouldn't, but you're going to know about it now because engineers have found a brilliant way to use the system that keeps polar bears cold. They can also use it to keep elephants hot. It's so cool. Chris Woodard, though, following the bond money that paid for it. Six years ago, voters agreed to send $125 million in taxes here to the zoo. Well, tonight, a new project for these elephants shows they are on time and under budget. I think we're very frugal with the money, um, and we watch every penny of it. The construction manager at the Oregon Zoo proudly walks us through his work in progress. I found out at this point they've spent about 50 million of the $125 million in metro area taxes that are heading their way. The latest project, one that's allowing these elephants to get some help from their polar bear friends without even knowing it. It's called a slinky, buried underneath the dirt, and I learned it will actually pump heat from the polar bear enclosure into the elephant building. As it's cooling water for the polar bears, it produces heat similar to your condenser in your refrigerator at home. So where it's kicking out heat under the refrigerator, we're actually capturing that heat, putting it in ground through a liquid pipe system, and bringing it over to this building and utilizing it to heat this building. Polar bears like it cold, elephants like it warm. And now they're helping each other. It's expected to cut energy costs in half at the elephant building. I asked, now nearly halfway through spending the bond dollars, how the zoo is looking out for your tax dollars. Elephants is our fourth bond project. Uh, the other three are under budget. We're on time. Elephant building is heading into the same. We're about 50% complete. At the zoo, Chris Woodard, Coin 6 News.